äh, Simmagic äh, hat vor kurzem einen Shifter rausgebracht. Einen Haarshifter und einen sequenziellen Shifter in einem. Und das gibt es sehr, sehr selten auf dieser Welt aktuell für einen erschwinglichen Preis. Ich würde mal sagen, mein Lieblings-B-Roll-Reviewer, äh, der gute Lawrence, hat sich das mal wieder angeguckt. Und ich würde gerne sehen, was Lawrence dazu sagt, weil ich sehr gewillt bin, mir das anzusehen und zu gucken, ob man sich das auch mal reinziehen sollte, das Ding. What's the crack? Lawrence here with some more Simagic goodies. They've got the shifter for me. They've got the handbrake for me. They've got complicated names. It's going to be a great video. We're going to get them on the rig. We're going to knock lumps out of them. Let's do this. Ich hoffe auf gute B-Roll. Shifter auf dem Parkplatz wäre geil. Ne, Mizi, nein. Genau das wollte ich nämlich nicht. So yeah, the names are kind of, uh, they're kind of uh, complicated. The DS8X, I don't know where the naming came from. Like if they had a DS and then they had a DS4X and now this is the DS4X, I, I don't know. It sounds like the internal name leaked out to the public. DS8X for the shifter and the TB1 for the handbrake, which is a little bit more kind of understandable. Handbrake and shifter. I'm very excited about these. People have asked, are you getting the shifter? Are you getting the handbrake? I want to know, I want to know, I want to know, because lots of people who use some Magic products love drifting and rally. They also do the circuit racing and stuff, but these products mean a lot to them. Let's dive straight in to the shifter. Uh, this box looks a little bit worn, but that's probably just from being stored in, uh, stored in the warehouse. Um, Let's not read into that too much. <laughs> Used. It uh, did come in an outer box as well, so it didn't just arrive at my house like that. So I got rid of the outer box. We've got some cool stickers here. Oh, look at these. These are kind of fun. Got Die würde ich auch feiern auf. Uh, also ich finde hier noch einen Platz. Ich, also Magic, ich habe hier noch Platz. Ich, ich habe noch Platz. Könnte noch mal was hin. It's a Magic sticker. We've got. Oh, und der Titel. Selbstverständlich. This sticker here. We've got a Keep Racing sticker. Another Keep Racing, which is one of Samagic's slogans. Keep Racing. We've got one here for the FX Pro. Mm -hmm. um, we've got one here. Pretty cool, old school, cartoony one. And Keep Racing, Samagic. Kind of cool that they uh, gave a load of stickers with it. That is... Uh, a little bit above and beyond. Uh, usually you just get a load of branding stickers that are just the logo and stuff. But these are kind of cool, especially if you're into sticker bombing and stuff. Uh, they're kind of cool. Symagic macht gerade wirklich super, super harten Angriff. We've got our typical Symagic warranty card as well. Whether you fill this in or not, you have your consumer rights. Uh, but I would advise hanging on to it just in case, um, you know, a company decides to be difficult about it, then it becomes a lot more difficult to deal. Dafür habe ich eine Rechnung. Da steht mein Name drauf und dass ich das bezahlt habe. Das kommt gleich im Müll. Deal with, you know, small claims, courts and stuff like that. So this is probably uh, a, a good one to just uh, to just keep handy. Just put it somewhere. If you do keep the box, keep it in the box. Then you'll always know where to find it. We've got a quick guide here. So that gives us a little bit of uh, information about how to mount it and all that. We've got a USB cable. So that's a USB a to B cable, so no USB-C here. Um, and we've got some uh, T-slot nuts. We've got some Allen keys and we've got some bolts there as well. Let's get this out of here. Uh, irgendwann brauchst du kein Werkzeug mehr kaufen. Du kriegst immer Werkzeug dazu. Nur sie le 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 it has got, let's see, yeah, we've got this big lever at the side, which changes it. Not a huge pile of resistance on there, but we'll see when it's on the rig, because that's always, you know, some, I'm not sure if that resistance is adjustable. It looks like it is. There's a big um, Allen key bolt on the front there, and then sequential means you can't move it left or right. And that feels really good. Now, Symagic makes one of the best sequential shifters there is out there on the market. Yep. So this directly competes with that. But that feels that feels pretty okay. It depends on when the shift is. Like I kind of I often I look for the engagement of the click to be kind of where it would 
where it would be hitting the gear. So that's something that we'll, we'll keep an eye on. Um, what else have we got? Uh, this, oh, that's for, oh, cool. Okay, so when we're in hitch pattern mode, like this, so we have, okay, we have a reverse lockout. So that's like a, a Ooh, traditional, nice. you see that in a lot of, um, yeah. So that would be for seventh gear. It actually goes all the way. Okay, you das finde ich schöner als bei dem Haarschifter von, äh, von Moser, weil bei Moser musst du runterdrücken und dann kommst du erst in den siebten und in den Rückwärtsgang. Ich finde das cooler mit dem Ziel. You have two up that way, so seventh and eighth gears as well, and reverse must be up here. But it means that there's no way you can go into reverse, which is an issue that I've had with the Moser shifter and still have with the Moser shifter. So that's nice that all automatically uh, you know gives me a lot more kind of um i guess uh, hope uh, for this uh, pretty nice gear knob on it they went for a nice black look which is which is very nice yeah i like the look of that on to the handbrake and that box is actually a little bit light because I did unbox it. Uh, I unboxed it probably about two months ago, but I never released the video because all of a sudden I thought maybe, maybe they'll send me this shifter and lo and behold, here we are, that shifter just arrived this week. So we have the shifter and the handbrake. A little bit of a mix here because when you see my impressions of this, it's not gonna be my first impressions. They're gonna be fairly advanced impressions of this. Um, of note, there's nothing really of note here. There's a little faceplate that comes on here that'll show you the elastomer. Not gonna go into detail on that because I always run these in their default configuration anyway. And this is still in default configuration, even though it's been here for two months. Uh, USB-C has been used on the handbrake. So that is uh, interesting. You've got USB-B on the uh, shifter, but USB-C on here, that is kind of interesting. Um, the handle is a little bit small. Uh, the, the, the grip on it. That is something that I noted when I recorded the first impressions first day. I'm gonna insert a little clip of that just in case you don't believe that I did the first impressions video and had to throw it all away because I'm doing this right now. But yeah, this handle is a little bit small for my liking. Just the way my hand grabs it, is, is yeah, it's just a little small. But it looks like when you can you can make a new one on it. As for mounting points, they've gone for fairly standard now Simagic ways of mounting. So pretty, yeah, pretty simple. You've got loads and loads of opportunities to mount this. Of course, that is providing you have mounting points on your rig. I have an 80-20 rig, profile rig, so I can just mount pretty much whatever I want as long as I have the spare pieces of profile. So this shouldn't really be an issue to mount these. Um, I do have to be careful that depending where I mount it, because I'll be mounting this on my left and I'll have the handbrake beside it. So if you imagine the steering wheel is in front of me here, I'm gonna have this on my left because that's where I usually run it. I also am gonna have the handbrake. Now I can't run the handbrake too close because of this. Now I can of course always just reverse this um, and then it will it will mean that, you know, I could assign that to reverse. It means that I'll miss out on seventh and eighth gears. I don't really use them, but then I can put these nice and close together and this will be on the outside. If you want this on the right hand side, that is definitely not an issue. Most of the world has the shifter on the right. We are just awkward. Uh, we drive on the left here. So, uh, and a lot of JDM cars, if you're into kind of uh, Japanese car culture and that, you might want to run it the way that I usually run mine. Uh, that is just from habit. Now, you could give them a little bit of space. If you have the space on your rig, then you can still adjust this, but um, I will probably put them right next to each other and see how this goes because that is a fairly symmetrical operation. You can still do reverse like that or you can even do reverse like that if you want to. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get them on the rig, give you my first impression. Oh, passen die beide nebeneinander? Oh, er macht zwei Schrauben nur? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, das ist aber auch eine schöne... Uh Idee. Oh krass, der kriegt das wirklich dahin. Uh. Das würde mit den mit den Another Way würde das gar nicht funktionieren. Leider. Oder oh, wird gerade Asitec gefallen. Oh, Asitec Forte Bundle. Aha.
So here we are in the rig. Uh, I've got it all bolted up. Uh, it all works well. Now the handbrake. Oh, da ist sogar die Buttonbox noch gleich mit drauf. Das ist ja richtig schnieke gebaut. Schön. Already used that. Um, and I'm actually quite happy with the handbrake. I'll describe it a little bit to you. Not my first impressions, uh, but the handle is a little bit small. Uh, I'd like if that handle was a bit bigger, but the grip and that on it is nice and the, the finish. Ich wünschte mir wirklich, also ich mag das, das Another Way Set, also die, die Tau Handbremse und den Shifter sehr gerne, ne? aber das hat halt einfach so einen großen Fußabdruck. Die sind so, so groß, aber die sind auch so, 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 so geil, ne? Wenn der Shifter nur ein bisschen kleiner wäre. Oh! But it's nice. Uh, there's a little bit of a slack. Das finde ich übrigens. At the start, uh, which doesn't really do much. Okay. But then, as soon as you, it engages, it aus. actually feels really good. It, it feels okay. very much like a, a hydraulic handbrake in a real car, uh, which is. Uh, Simmagic hat jetzt auch uh, eine hydraulische Handbremse rausgebracht. Das finde ich ja auch sehr interessant. Is uh, quite an achievement. The damping on that is really good. So I've not even opened this up yet. I've not messed with that because that part feels quite good. I'd like if it engaged slightly earlier, but lots of real life handbrakes have this bit of slack at the start as well. What's really nice is when you are pulling on that handbrake, when you're trying to adjust the rear, it feels very, very, um, very realistic. So very happy with that. I'd like a slightly bigger handle. That would be cool. Uh, the hitch pattern shifter uh, and sequential, I've actually turned it around. So if I have it, Uh, upside down or back to front if you will because I need access to this little handle on the side this little lever on the side if I switched it the other way I wouldn't actually have access to that because the handbrake would be in the way now I like to run my handbrake on the wheel side of my shifter the main reason for that is when you're using your handbrake you want to have this proximity to your um to your steering wheel at all times, because your handbrake, you're usually using that. Er meint das nicht so. Er meint das nicht so. Nur weil du so weit weg bist, du bist trotzdem eine sehr gute Handbremse. Du bist nur wirklich sehr weit weg, okay? Aber das liegt doch daran, dass ich wirklich sehr, sehr große Arme habe, okay? Er, er meint das nicht böse. Ich weiß, du bist sehr weit weg. Aber du bist halt auch groß. Wir kriegen dich nicht dicht daran. Sei nicht traurig. Ich muss so kurz die Wogen glätten hier. That mid corner. So if you're trying to get the rear to rotate, you want to get back to that steering wheel as soon as possible. If it's on the other side, the gear shifter is kind of in the way. Warte, wenn ich euch warte mal, kann man das sehen? Nee, ne? Wenn ich Licht anmache? Warte, jetzt, ko jetzt kommt meine Zaubertaschenlampe. Nee, kann man nicht sehen, ne? Bei mir ist das wirklich super, super weit weg. Also mein Shifter ist innen und meine Handbremse ist außen. Ei, ei, ei. Schalten wir links? Ja, er ist ihre. Die fahren andersrum, Freunde der Sonne. Die fahren andersrum. Ah, jetzt muss ich das wirklich überdenken, was ich da gebaut habe. Some people like it on the other side. I just, I just really don't. It needs to be nice and close to the steering wheel. I ich habe aber auch gerade eine Idee, wie ich das machen könnte, dass das beides zusammen dichter wäre. Oh. Ideally, I'd get it close to the steering wheel again, but this is just the way I have it mounted right now, and it works quite well. So the uh, ball on the shifter is very large. Um, but it's it's nice. The throw, the throw actually feels quite a long throw on it. Uh, what I do really love about this is the kind of the, the real life style sleeve that you pull up to get into reverse. So right now, like that's in sixth gear, but I, I've got reverse down here. Obviously, you can put reverse up there uh, or whatever, and you can even use seventh and eighth gears. Uh, I've got it, I've got it uh, upside down here, so we only have in this extreme uh, um, mode over to the side here you've only got one gear you can select there's no top right gear here uh, that's meant usually for reverse when it's the other way around and on the other side you do have uh, two of them so very cool uh, it, it looks beautiful it's anyway Wo waren wir denn jetzt? Reverse up there. Okay. Uh, or whatever. And you can even use seventh and eighth gears. Uh, I've got it, I've got it uh, upside down here. So hm. we only have in this extreme uh, um, mode over to the side here. 
you've only got one gear you can select. There's no top right gear here. Is you will have one? Uh, two of them. It's a lot smaller than the Fanatec handbrake. Okay. And of course, the party piece. Now it's in sequential mode. Like, that is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, as for the feel of it, I'm not driving yet, so uh, it kind of changes when you drive. That is not very... There's not a huge amount of resistance on that right now, but it does feel nice. It feels like a high-quality real-life shifter, and the shifts are extremely accurate. Like, that is, that's very, very nice and accurate. Probably one of the most accurate shifters, from what I'm feeling, one of the most accurate sim shifters. Like, if I go even just first to third, really fast like that, I can do that so quickly. Yeah, I, I can I can pretty much go for whichever gear I like. Um, I, I, I want to select. It's very quick. It hurts um, your good hand. So that's nice and very promising. We'll have to see how it fares uh, in-game as well. Uh, the sequential feel is okay. It's definitely... I mean, uh, like, it's... it's <laughs> I say it's okay. If this is your first sequential shifter, it's amazing. Uh, I've I've had a lot of exposure to a lot of an insane sequential shifters, including Simagic's own sequential shifter, which gives a massive clunk and it feels like you're engaging something. Uh, this does have feel. There is nice feel to it. And it has a nice quick bounce back as well without being too heavy. It's weighted nicely. So I think that's going to be nice. Maybe the throw is a little bit long. I don't know. Well, it good Maybe aus. it's a little bit... Far to be pushing das ist halt so, wenn du, wenn du ein kombiniertes Gerät hast, know. also wenn du beides haben willst, das funktioniert halt nicht, ne? weil die, die Technik da drin muss ja beides verarbeiten können, also das Haar-Pattern und auch äh, sequenziell. Natürlich, wenn du dir jetzt einen einzelnen sequenziellen kaufst, also zum Beispiel jetzt hier den Tau, den wir aktuell hier haben, da würde sowas würdest du niemals rauskriegen aus dem Combo-Gerät. Also wer das hinkriegt, wird wahrscheinlich den besten Shifter auf dem ganzen Planeten haben. We're actually using it, but that ability to switch between H-Pattern And sequential is absolutely phenomenal. I just, I, I can't, uh, like, I, I, yeah, I can't believe it. Uh, it, it it's really. Möchtest du auch das YouTube-Video crashen jetzt? Ist das jetzt auch deiner? Kann ich bitte in Ruhe, Jungs, dieses Video gucken? Mit Chat? Danke. Thank you. Really just super, super nice. Let's hop in game. Uh, actually, before we hop in game, let's have a look at the new software. Because I haven't actually used the new software yet. And a lot of you will know I've been critical of the software in the past so let's see how that goes okay so i've loaded up now i've not clicked a single button in here uh what do we have we've have home play now so we've got our list of games here oh they're, they're quite nice the way they animate and stuff um i don't have a wheelbase connected i do have oh it's recognizing that i have the gt1 steering wheel connected now i'm on an acetec base here so uh it's interesting that it's recognizing that uh, i have a gt1 Uh, base. I wonder if it's going to recognize input stuff from that because the previous software didn't actually recognize that that was plugged in without the base being plugged in. So that's kind of cool. Uh, obviously, we've got our uh, DS8X shifter that's recognizing stuff. The handbrake, there's new firmware, and I've never actually calibrated this ham handbrake either. So maybe we'll be able to do that. Uh, Simpro required a newer handbrake firmware to work. Okay. Mizu. Mann, du schlingel doch hier bitte nicht so um die Tastatur rum. Ich möchte einfach in Ruhe dieses Video gucken. So. Auch du wirst runtergelassen wie auf einer Wolke. Dankeschön. Kussi, kussi. It's an easy within the app. Upgrading the firmware without any additional. Oh, nice. Mit der Zone. Mm. We've got loads of connects and disconnects. Let's see, there's no position registering there. Go for calibrate. Start calibration. Finish. Might even pull that a little bit too hard. Bisschen training, no? Good. Just recalibrate and not pull it as hard. I don't need that full travel on it. That's probably where I'd want my 100% to be. Let that go again. Yeah, that feels a bit better now. Um, it's still, there's a good weight on it, which is nice. I, I really like that. Um, so that's the handbrake calibrated. That couldn't be much simpler. Let's see. Shifter. So obviously it's, so I'm going first, second, third, but I ha I'm running it upside down. So uh, it's the wrong way around. Fun. Not the way it's meant to work, but it works. Uh, so now it's saying it's in sixth gear, whereas obviously I'm only in first gear. So, and we saw, ah, oh, that's nice. That's cool. So when you do flick that switch, you can see it there and no calibration Ooh. at all needed. The, 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 the registration 
Ja, der, the registration of the, uh, der Kippschalt erhöht sich auch richtig gut an, wenn man das mal so sagen kann. Of the input is good, doesn't require any calibration. I don't actually even think you can calibrate it. So, uh, yeah, very cool. And does it, okay, it doesn't recognize the GT1 steering wheel. So maybe that's just the default that's on there. So I, but that's not what this review is about. That's just interesting. Um, devices, games. Uh, you've got different configs for the games. Very cool. Okay, let's do some driving. So let's give this a go. It is the Fiat Abarth. Um, it's the Assetto Course Edition. Um, and uh, it's, uh, I haven't driven this in a while. Let's give it a go. And concentrate on that H pattern shift. We are in Scotland, so we're driving on the left. Ach so, äh, Schottland, nicht äh, Irland, sorry. The shifts are nice. Uh, it, they could be definitely be heavier, but there is a little uh, screw at the side that you can uh, you can adjust that. So, well, I'm guessing what that's for. That's what that's for. Let's do a little bit of heel toe here. Of course, feedback settings are a little bit aggressive. This is fun. <laughs> Absolutely on the limiter in that car. But it, uh, yeah, it, it, so far, so good. Not sure if it's a good uh, test, so I might just take this to a racetrack and see how it performs on the track. Here we are at uh, Biker Nikki. Front wheel drive, torque steer. I really have to get used to. I've been driving a lot of rear wheel drive lately, so I have to get used to how this feels. The gear shifting is very intuitive. Da würde ich komplett wahnsinnig werden. Ich kann das nicht. Also nice, nicht beim Rennfahren. Crisp, like concise gear changes. Get up into fifth. Like the, the gear selection is remarkably accurate. I don't know if this was modeled off, you know, the throw of a real gearbox or what. But it does feel like they put it the experience so gesund, then, oder? shifting the gears first and foremost. I mean, obviously, with, with this little sleeve that you pull up for reverse and that, there's a lot of inspiration from real road car gearboxes. Which I guess this is kind of a track prepared road car. Oh, it's so much fun. It's really fun. As I can't. I can't find fault with it right now. And my reverse is nice and out of the way. I mean, let's spin it out and go into reverse here in a sec. Let's really just push it into this corner. Oh, I blew my engine. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that like it would completely spin around. Let's go back to the pits here. Let's just throw it into reverse. Go into yeah, do a do a McD McDonald's car park style burnout. Hang on. Go into reverse. Back. And then into first. There we go. <laughs> also, ich hab's das nicht gemacht bei McDonald's. We'll test that handbrake in a sec. Or we can just do uh, car trials here in the... in the pits. Uh, let's do a bit of drifting. Right, let's give this a go. So the gear engagement, as you can see, it's a little bit... it is a little bit light. Driften, da sind wir wieder. Das wollte ich schon immer mal... das wollte ich schon immer mal lernen. But that's not, you know, too bad either. It's kind of like, at the at the price this is at, I kind of ha I do have to nitpick. The handbrake, the way I have it right now, is slightly far away from me. Up in the third. Oh, wie gut ist er denn bitte? Wow. Everything. Oh, that's too much. Can't save it there. That's interesting. Maybe it's just this car. 
I wonder does this car, does this car have enough lock that's seems to have kind of fairly standard Wow, is it good? Lock, which is fine. I just have to be aware of it. But I can't go too sideways. I'm trying to concentrate on how intuitive everything is. The the proximity, the feel of them to use is is good. Correction there. What the fuck? It's nice. The car is a little bit shifty, but that's that's all good. Uh, the handbrake and shifter feel great. <gasps> yeah, they feel really good. I, I I don't know what else I can really comment about it. Um, there's I'd like a little bit more weight. The handbrake I think is is pretty bang on. I think the, the handbrake gives a, a great feel. Um, it, yeah, it gets my seal of approval. I think it's. Uh, I don't know. Is it das ist jetzt glaube ich aber nicht so einfach gewesen, oder? Too early to say, but I, th I think this could stay on my rig, you know. Just the fact that it's got the H pattern, it's got the sequential. Um, we need to give that sequential like, a try as well. But this is, yeah, it's just, it's very, very nice. Very, very nice. All right, let's get a bit of rally going here and uh, let's activate that sequential. I probably just need to map that as well because I haven't used that in this anymore. I have used the H pattern. I just had a little bit of a H pattern drive, but I'm not going to put that in the video for you guys because you've already seen me use H pattern here. So let's just map that control, uh, option, inputs, uh, put shifter and gear up, gear down. Done. Back. Hat er das jetzt andersrum gemacht? And let's do this. Right, let's give this a go. Handbrake on. We're in first gear. The view is a bit weird, but that'll do. It'll be fine. Nee. I'll just move the uh, the secondary camera to the the part of the screen where there's a load of dashboard. So far, it feels quite intuitive. There's not an amazing feeling. There's a good feeling, don't get me wrong. But it's not much different to like the Fanatec shifter when it comes to H or uh, sequential. But that's not a bad thing. Um, it's It's pretty good. It's pretty okay. Oh, God. Three right. Let's start slowing down. Where's the hairpin right? It's, it is it is it is intuitive. And accurate. The ball is a little bit odd on it. Actually, can you... Oh, maybe if I didn't... I wollte gerade sagen, Mensch, uh, Rally macht er jetzt aber auch easy snack, oder wie? <laughs> look at the down at the thing and maybe if I just paid attention that wouldn't happen uh, the ball is interchangeable don't know what thread pattern that is but maybe someone in the chat will tell me uh, you don't get a spare knob with it though so a drive here with a big crack in our windscreen but my driving is not the point of this oh I've got a puncture Yeah, like I, I don't, I don't think I need to see much more to be honest. Um, this feels really good. It, 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 uh, it's a very, yeah, it's a very intuitive driving experience, and it's very much the product that I hoped it would be. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's wrap it up. So, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I have a lot of a, a lot of positive things to say about it. That switch. From H pattern to sequential is savage. It's better than the Fanatec. Fanatec has the two little things at the bottom that you uh, push. This is like, this is so quick and easy. Uh, what I also like about this, and I don't know if this makes sense to you, but with the with the Fanatec, it seems like the, the, the point at which the gear stick goes is kind of like up very high. This feels like it's down low in the device, which makes it a far more authentic experience. You're not, you know, when you go into fifth, the 
the stick isn't that a massive angle. It's at an angle, but like the Fanatec goes way over. And then when it goes into seventh uh, or whatever, the, the Fanatec has a, a completely unnatural angle there. So that's really nice. Uh, and just switching it like that. They're separate input. It's by Mosa, by the Mosa shifter also. I've just never thought of So uh, in a game where, uh, you know, it's true to real life that it'll go sequential if uh, the car is sequential or hitch pattern and it automatically decides that itself. Uh, if you're on the start line and you're in sequential mode and you're like, oh crap, this is a hitch pattern car, you can just flick that and you don't have to remap any controls or whatever. So that is awesome. I, I absolutely love that. Uh, the handbrake is 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 really good. It is up there with, uh, from a feel point of view, uh, it's up there with one of the best um, that I've that I've used. So I've I've no hesitations there. That little bit of slack, as I say, is is not ideal at the start. Um, it does have a slightly weird movement, but uh, if if you look at if I keep my arm level, it is a kind of a straight back movement. Um, there's no it's not that weird you're not kind of pulling down or whatever uh even though it, it is on this weird kind of handle um uh, weird angle uh, again i've got mine configured a little bit odd i've also got this little dash here because i think it looks nice uh but this by the way because you guys are going to ask in the comments this is the uh precision sim engineering uh psp uh it's a really lovely lovely but button box as well he is really yeah guy uh so that's uh that's really cool I love the sleeve, like the, the 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 proper road car style. You know, if you want to simulate a road car, it doesn't get much better than this. Not obviously, not all road cars have that, but yeah, I I I think it's a a really a really solid combo. Uh, I think the price is not it's not cheap. They're not cheap, but it's not crazy either for what you're getting. And yeah, as I said to you earlier, I think it does make sense. That if if I was if I was buying this for myself and I was buying a you know forever setup and i got to try absolutely everything this would suit me best out of absolutely everything because i don't want to Ooh, have okay. both a sequential and a h pattern on my rig i just nee das finde ich auch doof don't you guys wobei man sagen muss ein einzelner sequenzieller ist schon geil das ist ein geiles gefühl ha- run a configuration like that so i want to have as much as i can in as small a footprint as possible so this h pattern and sequential uh this would be my daily driver uh, the handbrake, there are a lot of good handbrakes out there. Um, I like that it matches, that they're Symagic. Uh, both of them are Symagic. Um, the V&M handbrake is really nice. I do think so far, just from an experience point of view, so this is this is slightly far away, so I'd like to bring it a little bit closer right now. They're, they're mounted at kind of pretty much the same, in the same place. Uh, they have a, a slightly different footprint as well, which is interesting. So the the spacing in the bo- for the mounts for the hitch pattern box or for the gearbox is not exactly the same as the spacing for the uh, Symagic uh, handbrake so I've got some profile under it and they're at slight angles to accommodate that so mounting is not as straightforward uh, I'd love to see something that would be able to uh, like a handbrake that could mount to the side of the box but you put a and then has so for the Leute die another way haben die müssen richtig nachdenken wie sie mounten <laughs> Alter, das ist einfach... Ich habe eine so eine bescheuerte Konstruktion an meinem Rig, die ergibt keinen Sinn, aber nur damit ich sie rankriege, dass sie einigermaßen vernünftig sind. A lot of force on that. You can see, like, this is a, a Simlad P1X. And as I pull on this, you can see that there's even some little bit of flex on that. That's how much force I have to put into it. I love having to pull a handbrake that hard because pulling a handbrake, you almost feel like you're, you know, moving your butt to, like, shift the car out to get that back to slide around. So I like to put a lot of force into that. Uh, gear shifts, I like to put a lot of force into those as well. Um, I will have to see when I increase the resistance, uh, if it's, um, you know, if, if, if it like lives up to my expectations. I think even as it is, it would be my daily driver. I think it's, it's nice. The resistance okay. is, uh, is, is decent. This, of course, is only my first impressions. Uh, this is the first time I've ever used them. I will learn a lot more over time. Um, there are no issues with this, like maybe accidentally going into reverse or whatever, like we've seen with some competitors. Um, the yeah, the handle on the handbrake is a little bit small. I'd like that to be like just girthier. Oh, du hast auch große Finger, Lawrence, no? Oder Hände? Girthier. Yeah. You guys Sehr are große Hände. 
have a field day with that in the car. <lacht> Aber ich würde es auch gerne größer haben, ja. <lacht> so vom ersten Blick. Um, <lacht> uh, okay, yeah. <lacht> on, that, on that note, I think, I think I'm going to leave it. Guys, I stream every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, so check it out on this channel. Uh, for now, I'm Lawrence. And I'll chat to you later. Okay, krass. Wild. Das sieht sehr interessant aus. Aber wir hatten keine, äh, keine äh, äh, B-Roll von draußen, Chat. Wir hatten leider keine B-Roll von draußen. Lawrence hat äh, uns nur eine First Impression gegeben. <lacht> <lacht>